three, two, one, zero, zero, and liftoff. Liftoff. Americans return to space as Discovery clears the tower. Welcome back to uh, TTM Trades Top 3 for the week, January 21st, 2018. First and foremost, I want to thank all my new followers. Got 955 total. We're aiming for 1,000. We are aiming for 1,000. And then also on YouTube, 215. Like I said, we are aiming for 1,000 followers. So please, if you get any value out of this video, hit the like button and subscribe uh, but today we're going to be talking about the top three for the week which is ticket a t o s a v g r y 10 and o h r p some pretty good setups uh setups that i look for and these are all plays that look like they're about to break out um also man subscribe to the channel we're doing a small account challenge i'm not a day trader i'm a swing trader started off with 667 dollars and right now we got the account up to three grand so we went from six hundred dollars to three thousand uh, dollars in a matter of a month so follow me man if i if i do the math right what six twelve eighteen twenty four uh, that's that's a five hundred you know percent return on my money so far we talking about a month so let's just get right into it man take it atos top three for the week look man hit that subscribe button it's my last time telling you all right, uh, top three for the week. All right, ticket ATOS, as you can see here, it was on a downtrend. It had a nice spike right here. Um, I went back and checked the catalyst on this to see what that was. They had good news on some clinical studies or something, but uh, I don't trade based off news. So if you're wondering what that spike was, it was because of that. So um, back to the original trend. It was in a downtrend, finally based out right here at $0.22. Cents. Um, had a nice spike in volume right here as you can see created a new um, higher low okay so you got a low here higher high trend it down a little bit made a higher low at 25 broke out again made a higher high at 37 and now uh, we had this dip down to 29 so it looked like it's going to consolidate for about another day or two as long as it stay within this 29 to 33 cent range as you can see between the two moving periods uh, it's going to consolidate right in this range uh, make another base as you can see it closed at 33 cents um, so old resistance which was at 30 cents has now become new support where you can see it dip down to that 29 30 cent range and the shares are accumulated so i see it coming back down to 30 to consolidate a little bit smooth out as you can see, the selling volume down here was pretty high, and then it leveled out below average. So you probably have another day or two of below average consolidation, and then it will continue its next leg up. Uh, price areas we want to look at of taking profit is $0.49, cents, right where this uh, original support was at, a uh, good support area. Uh, remember, um, old support becomes new resistance, so we have to break through that 48 to $0.49. Cents. Uh, if we break through that on high volume, then we push up to this 58 cents where this uh, channel or resistance was at. Break through there, push up to 66 where this old resistance line was at. As you can see, could not break through. Once we can get through 66 cents, if we can, then we're back in this channel right here and we can work our way up to 93. Okay, but your three immediate price targets for ATOS is 49.58 and 66. Uh, we've broken through all resist previous resistance back in this general area so now we just need a day or two of consolidation and the trend will continue so if you make your entry please be safe and make your entry anywhere in that 30 to 33 cents range now YTEN you want to keep an eye on this one because it has a very low float only 6.72 million shares available to the public to trade all right had this nice spike up right here um dropped down um and then it based out right here right at a dollar 54 okay accumulation volume increasing picking up had a large jump right here spike in volume uh reached a high of 229 230 came back down look like shorts was covering their shares and then it also broke the psychological uh, psychological resistance areas right at this uh 194 
uh, range. So like we said, old resistance should become new support. So what we want to see is this consolidate right in this 187 uh, to two dollar range hold for a little bit and just like before continue his next leg up uh, media resistance area is 246 right where this channel is at and then if we could break through 246 work our way to 275 where the previous resistance was at and head our way up to three dollars and three cents where this original support was at uh, like i said if we can work our way back up into this channel on high volume then we can work our way back up to that 391 to 395 range. So if you make a good entry, uh, give or take, I would say anywhere where this last support was at 182 to this uh, $2.07 range. And I know that's a pretty wide spread, but again, this is a low float stock, so it swings pretty well. Uh, but if you could time your entry just right in that general area, uh, you're looking at a good profit return okay uh, once again a low float so keep your eye on this one uh, next we'll be talking about ticker AVGR all right ticker AVGR as you can see was on a downtrend struggled back over here to get past that 40 to 41 cent range and then continued this downtrend and then it finally bottomed out at 17 cents even so what we have here is a low a higher high a higher low with a higher high all right and then we was also crossed above that 10 period moving average to show that the momentum is shifting into the bull's favor so what we want to see is that we hold above this 10 period moving average had a nice spike in volume um, broke through some psychological resistance areas which also created that volume and more than likely shorts cover and seeing that they need to get off the top of this because it's going to take off uh, next day some more selling but the volume decreased so nothing heavy that would say that this would drop back below that 20 cent area is going to consolidate probably here on monday and then probably have a late end of day run all right uh, price targets we're looking at is 26 cents which was this area's past resistance and then we'll push up into that 28 cents and then if we could push past 28 cents break our way through 31 which was this area's uh support and then try to work our way back up to the 40 which is back in this channel right here 31 to 40 cents so if you can make your entry, uh, I would say 20 is a safe entry. Uh, get in at 20 cents and you're looking at anywhere from a 50 to 100 percent return on your money uh, if you play this just right. And then last but not least, OHRP. Uh, one of my followers actually brought this one up to me. This was not on my radar. So uh, I kept it on my radar, monitored it, and now it's beginning to set up nicely. All right, so you can see, I don't know what made this gap all the way down like this, but it had this gap down. Uh, a lot of people trapped in this area um, and a lot of people who probably bought back in in this area and rolled it up and did not take profits at the top trapped in this area back over here. So uh, we have a lot of oversupply uh, right where this support area is at and right where it peaked off at. There's a lot of oversupply. So what we have here is a consolidation the bottom down at uh, 30.6 cents. Uh, it's been trending sideways, consolidating. As you can see, a large spike in volume to show accumulation back in that 30 cent range. Once they seen that uh, the, the area was holding and it's currently consolidating and pulling back. Mind you, the volume is below average on each sell day um, and very low. So what we see here is some consolidation to smooth this out. Um, and then it's going to break out and start its next leg. Now, when it starts its next leg, some immediate uh, areas of profit we want to look at because we have to work our way back up into this channel because there's a large oversupply right here. Uh, when it gapped down, it did not stop right here. It actually gapped all the way down and went directly past this uh, last area of support. So um, working our way back up into this channel right here, uh, we need to work our way through 47 cents, 52, and then of course 57, which was the past support for this channel, and then try to break our way back into that 73 range where the past resistance was. Uh, I can see us working our way back up into this area, and then when we hit, once we hit this area, 
uh, a nice pullback for a couple of days to consolidate and then continue our next leg up to try to work our way back up to fill this gap. Now, will the gap get filled? I don't know. Uh, it's not necessarily that every gap needs to be filled, but uh, we are going to start trending and working our way back up uh, to this area right here. But do understand there's a large oversupply where traders got trapped with shares and they're probably holding looking to break even. So once we begin to push up into these levels, they're going to offload their shares and break even and cut their losses. And then the new buyers will come in to accumulate those shares and hopefully hold to create a new support back over here and then use that support to make a base to start trending back up to fill the gap. So those are four plays for this week, January 22nd. Um, Please uh, be safe on your entries. If you have any questions, you can ask them or leave a comment under this video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Until next time, TTM Trades, I'm out. Swiftin, uh Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed.